What's up, everybody? It's me, Josh, Relentless Motorsports. Um, I literally have a guy that I think I know who it is and one platform, like um, YouTube, this guy's got a different name. And on emails, this guy's got a different name. And in Messenger, on like Facebook Messenger under the Relentless page, this guy's got another name. No profile pictures. The guy's got just a bunch of random oddball weird disney stuff like bambi and the guy seems like super obsessed with bambi um i looked into the guy's profile a little bit trying to find out who i'm dealing with just because it like this gave me absolute just like this weird gut feeling inside i don't know if you guys ever like get in a situation and you got like this just just gut wrenching like bad vibes about somebody or something or some place just you know, either a place or an entity or, or, or an object, you know, you got bad vibes about it. Like maybe it's cheap. You don't, you think it's going to break or maybe this person just something's not right there. And you're like, wow, like this guy's a little weird. I, I don't want to get involved. Listen, you know, I'm let, let me get something. This is kind of rambling off. Track. I'm a business owner owning a business. I don't know if any of you guys own a business of this magnitude or even a business at all, or even in your regular workspace, you can kind of co correlate, uh, correlate to owning business. So being a business owner, especially now around tax times, like things are super tight. Things are super stressful. Um, you know, um, as most of you guys know, I work, I work alone. I have a guy that kind of manages my website, my, my buddy, Ryan, um, you know, and for the most part though, like all the, the posts, the, the pictures, whatever, I know a lot of my descriptions are real short and I would write more in detail. It's just, I've wrote it so many times because these ECUs all pretty much have the same issue it, within variation of variation. Um, you know, it, it, it's hard. It's hard to not only keep up within time frame to get you guys done, but to, you know, just instantly get in the messenger and answer a question. Sometimes it takes me a little while. Sometimes it was, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you need to hire somebody to answer your messages. I want to, but I'm in the process of moving and getting a bigger facility to offer more services, maybe even dinos or whatever. You know, I want to further progress and I want to offer more for you guys. But back now, now that we got an off subject, I want to get back to the original thing that I'm making this video about. If you message me, if you message me and you ask turnaround time or price on an ECU service, first of all, if I don't know what my make, model, whatever, I can't really give you a price because, you know, some jobs are different than others. Some are the same as others and, you know, so on and so forth. There, I work on all sorts of things. Also, in that regard, too, even if you tell me, I can't, I can give you a rough base estimate, you know, rough base estimate of how much XYZ services. And a lot of my services start at a base price which is just, you know, flat, the standard repair. And then obviously, just like you guys at work, if you got to stay after hours and work, you want your overtime, you want a little bit. So, you know, if a job takes more material, it needs more work, and instead of taking me, let's say, an hour, and it winds up taking me six hours, you know, that that backs the lineup, which creates, you know, this 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 ripple effect. You know, then the next customer in line is held up, and the one after him is held up, and then these people, you know, have a tendency to get upset. What do meaning? You know, you guys need your car. I so heartedly understand this. I need my car. I'm I'm actually sitting in it still. But in regards to you know that, you know, I want to make sure that each job is done and that it's done right. Sometimes this stuff takes time, so it's hard to to correlate and and give an exact turnaround time or the standard base price. I know the other ECU guys give a base price, but as you guys see, I fix a lot of their stuff. I fix a lot of this here. I mean, I'm not fixing it for them. I'm fixing it after these other ECU gurus 
get it and the unit still doesn't work and i've posted pictures you guys see this stuff like the, the legs uncut grounding out shorting traces board still alberta you guys see this i mean this this kind of work is it can be hard at times a lot of times for me it's not hard because i've been doing it for so long Ooh, excuse me i got hiccups and um I, I, I've seen the patterns, you know, you know, bad, good, bad, good. I, I, I can kind of brace myself because I kind of, kind of can get, you know, from like the brief descriptions I get, you know, before you send it in. Oh, well, my car's not starting. I can kind of figure out, you know, roughly how bad it is. I can kind of give you, a, you know, turnaround time. But mainly the turnaround time depends on damage because it might take me longer. So it might take a day or two more, or if it takes me longer. And then after that, I have another ECU afterwards. That's just as bad, if not worse, or it's, or it's got some other odd issue that I got to address. I got to wait on parts. You know, normally when that comes, I order parts, I'll put that one to the side and I'll get on to the next one. But you know, to give an exact turnaround time is hard. I can't, I can't give it. I try to stay within one to two weeks, of repairing a service, but when you ask me for a price, I can give you at best my minimum base price, which I got to stick by. I mean, it, the my business is structured based on current cost of material, current you know tax situation for you know the business, and you know time. You know, like I need to get paid for my time, just like you need to get paid for your time at your jobs. I would hate to see you guys have to work overtime or whatever you know to have that and you know also have your boss i mean you guys are technically my boss i'm working for you guys i'm working on your stuff you know breathing down my neck not all a lot of you guys are really awesome and i genuinely love dealing with you guys but you know at times things can get frustrating especially when you're trying to solder something that's like this big onto a board it's like th like the size of like this freckle here and it's got a positive and negative. I'm sitting here squinting, trying to figure out, and I'm trying to solder this little thing on, have it be uniform and clean and proper. And my phone's going bing, 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 bing. And, you know, at times it can get frustrating. It can get frustrating. And that, that's part of what I signed up for when I started Relentless. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fussing about it. I'm just stating, you know, I'm a human. I have feelings. Um, I have stress. I, I have ups and downs, just like all of you guys. Working, working for yourself as as far as work in general is really no different than working for somebody um, as far as, you know, like, you know, does your boss make you feel good or is your boss, you know, do you have one of those really bad bosses? I like to say the uh, the slave driver boss, you know, the one like he comes to work, he sits in his office, he peeks out and he looks at you, he's like, you're not doing that job right. Or, you know, or do you have that leader boss that's like, he comes out, hey, he's like, you're not really doing that job right, but hey, why don't you try this? All right, cool, we got that. And then he works with you and he he tries to get you to do better. That's a leader boss. The slave driver boss is the boss that just screams at you all day from the office. He doesn't even know the darn job. He's just, he's just paid too much and he's got a good position. Anyway, you know, so that's kind of like dealing with 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 customer base when you're owning a business a lot of your customers are really cool they're that leader boss hey man i appreciate you thank you i understand and then you got the one that's like now 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 hurry 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 you know so there's many of variables to answering questions now that i got all that out of the way and I feel like I've gotten off track. My ADHD has got me scatterbrained sometimes when I start rambling on. But if you message me and you ask for a turnaround time or whatever, I normally say one to two weeks or I tell you it depends on when it shows up, which is the honest truth. You know, because each day fluctuates differently. It all depends on who ships faster, or who did whatever, who's closer. You know, how many units did I have show up today? But I try to keep it within one to two weeks. Most of the time, it's in one one week. So, yeah, and then price. You know, I'll give you the minimum base price. So, anyway, now that I, I'm going to get back on to the guy at hand. This guy's literally, I think it's the same guy, blowing me up on YouTube, calling me a scammer, um, crying that I blocked him and I won't deal with him and I won't quote him a price. This guy, if it's the same guy, messages me late last night and... I try to respond even after hours. I try to respond, you know. 
I do care about you guys. That's why I try to respond. You know, I try to be proactive and, you know, up, up with it, you know, try to get you guys taken care of each and every one of you. Cause they value you guys. I genuinely do. So you give me a reason not to, you know, like being arrogant and really rude and, um, just being gut wretchedly just, just snippy. And I, I, I can't deal with that. Like, like you don't want to deal with, you wouldn't want to deal with somebody like that either. So I got this guy, he messages me and he's sitting here. He's like, how much are your services? I have this, I have that, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't even know what it looks like inside or anything. So it's late. So I just give him the quick review. It just, you know, you know, it all depends on the damage inside the board. And I'm getting ready to give him a base price. And before I can even give him a base price, he asks, where are you located? So I'm about to tell him where I'm located and the base price. Prong. Um, I set the phone down for two seconds because I was actually getting ready to get out of the car and walk into my house. And all of a sudden, my phone blows up two more times. This guy's like, you got to you gotta meet everybody else's price. I'm going to let you all know. I'm more money than the other guys. The other guys charge flat rate. I mean, I value my time differently. Their business is run differently. That's their business. They can do what they want. As you guys see, I will actually get in there and fix it. I'll rip the plug off the board. I'll lift chips off the board. Like, I get in there. These other guys, as you've seen, I've posted work. They'll just throw some caps in it or a resistor or blob a bunch of solder up on it and stick some stickers on it. If you're lucky, they'll spray paint the lid silver to make it look new. I think it just looks like a spray-painted ECU. It looks horrible. And uh, they'll slap some stickers on it, which I need to get some more stickers for mine that say Relentless. And they ship it out, and, you know, that's how you get it back. Well, that's fine. He's like, well, you got competition, and you need to do... Listen, I'm going to be honest. After seeing a lot of these ECUs that come from other places that I will not say name, just because I could... And it's not even defamation of character because I literally have proof I'm stating the truth. It's just I have bigger things to worry about. I'm worried about Relentless. I'm worried about you guys, my true loyal customers and fan base. I'm not worried about what Joe down the street is doing at his business. It, does, it doesn't affect me. I, I don't care. I'll let him do him and I'll do me. That was weird. It sounded like somebody's walking up in the garage here. But... In that regard, you know, if you don't like my price or the way I do it, you're you're more it's a free country. And you know, you have your choice to go elsewhere. I I don't I don't I don't care if you don't want to work with me or use my service. I would like to do work, you know, I need business to keep going, but also, I mean, it's your prerogative if you do. I'm not going to care if you want to go somewhere else. I'm going to be like, okay, well, that guy wasn't for me or that girl wasn't for me, you know, on to the next one. Let's go help the next guy. You know, I'm here if you want me. And if we're on the same page, you know, we'll work together. If we don't, it's just like making friends. You know, sometimes you meet somebody, you're like, nah, that, that, not, nah, they ain't cool. And then sometimes you meet somebody and they're cool. You know, it's the same principle. So this guy, anyway, he starts that demanding I give him of a fixed price. I don't even know how bad his thing is. And then this guy's just getting arrogant and mad and nasty. Guys, hear me out. Just because I'm a business owner, just because I walk around with, you know, fancy watches or I wear nice glasses or I drive around in, you know, Corvettes and Supras and Lambos and all sorts of crazy shit. I don't think I'm any better than you. And I'm still just a human. I am just the same as you. I am just a guy. I'm no different. I have bad days. I have good days. Talk to me with respect. Be proper. I'm not saying like bow down and kiss my toes. But, you know, just be respect. Hey, buddy. You, you know, hey, you know, I'm curious about how much it is to fix it. Okay, well, um, at most, you know, well, that price is a little high. The other shop does it for this, and I'll come back and I might say, hey, well, you know, they charge this, but this kind of roughly the kind of work you're going to get, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, but the choice is yours. Go do what you want. Just let me know if you want help. I'm here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to just block you or blow up on you or, or 
or be arrogant towards you, you know? So, in that regard, people, when you message a business or you talk to another individual, until given a reason otherwise, please just talk to people with respect. You don't have to love somebody. You don't have to even like somebody. But respect. Remember this. The law of attraction is real. What you put out is what you shall receive. So if you put out hate and, and, and negativity and rudeness and crudeness and shortness and blunt, just nasty. Even if it's a business, a lot of businesses, they, they might bite their tongue for so long. But listen, I'm not like that. I will tell you flat out, no. Like, I'm a human. I stopped working out for people because I got sick of not being able to be myself. This is me. You respect me. You're nice to me. I respect you. I'm nice to you. I will help you out as much as I can, you know. Any questions, even if you're not using my service, I will do my best to help you. Now, don't ask me how I do my job because I'm, that, uh, that's my job. I'm not going to disclose. You know, I get in there. I have years of learning and spending money and breaking stuff and paying for it and to learn what I know. And it's taken me several years. So that's out of the question. But anyway, just remember when you message somebody, not everybody, there are some people that are rude. Wow. My finger looks pretty bad. Yeah. I'm missing my fingernail. That's what happens when you close your finger in a door. Anyway, just remember when you message somebody Take in consideration that the other person at that business or that job on the other side of that phone is just doing their job and they have guidelines and policies they got to stick by and that the most important thing is, is that we are just human. We, we have feelings, we have family, we have emotion and everything. Also through text, this is the bad thing about text. We lose context. So some be careful how you word things and write stuff because what you might not think is rude might come off as extremely rude. Or what you're trying to write as rude might come off as not rude. Or You lose context. Anyway, for the best ECU work, hit me up. I'm here. This is what I do. As you see, I mean, I'm a car guy. I'm literally sitting in a Corvette. Making this video. I'm in a Corvette. Making this video. I own. Well my business owns. The Mark IV Supra. The purple one. And the red Lexus SE with the, the, the 1J. With the big turbo on it. Like I'm a car guy. Just like you guys. So talk to me. And you'll find out we have a lot in common. And I'm not really a bad guy. And I don't really think you guys are bad guys. Anyway, have a fantastic day. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday the 21st, 2023. We are in the month of... We are in the month of February. Well, I had a check. Anyway, peace out, guys. Have a great day. And let me know what you think about what I said in this. Please watch the whole video. Anyway, peace out. Later. Love you guys.